us today. This is our corporate prayer. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. I'm your pastor, Dr. Mark Dean. We do ask that you like, subscribe, and share on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. That is the Heart of David International Ministry. Right now, we're doing our corporate prayer. Glory to your mighty name. Our corporate prayer is only going to be for 15 to 20 minutes. And then we're going to take a little break and go into our midweek service. Hallelujah. For uh, we, I want to give you a scripture. Ephesians 4 and 6. It says, be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Let your request be made known unto God. Let's go to verse 7. Hallelujah. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and your minds. Well, I'm sorry. Let me read that over. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Now, listen. We're talking about the peace of God. And then we're talking about let your request be made known unto him. Hallelujah. One thing about prayer, the one thing that you got to have is the faith in your prayer. And the faith in God's word. Hallelujah. My God, you don't sit up here and pray and say, Lord, I hope you heard my prayer. You said no. You say, Lord, I know you heard my prayer. I know it's already done because you told me you already know what I'm going to ask for before I pray. I got faith in your word. Glory to God. I got faith in my prayer. I know my prayer has reached heaven. Why? Because I love being in the presence of the Lord. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Let's read Ephesians 4 and 6 again. And be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. You give God thanks that he is hearing your prayer, that he honors your prayer as long as we are praying. Hallelujah. According to God's will, it's the faith of God. You speak God's word in faith. You pray God's word in faith. Signs and wonders shall follow. That's in Mark 16 and 20. As you preach the word, glory to your mighty name. I expect signs and wonders to follow as I preach, as I teach, as I prophesy. Hallelujah. I expect it. Why? That is the word of God. You want to do so you want to see signs and wonders. We want to see deliverance. We want to see miracles. Why? It is in God's word. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. I'm gonna read verse six and seven again in Philippians, and we're gonna go, we're gonna go to praying. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, you got to be thankful. Let your request be made known unto God. Verse 7, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and your and minds through Christ Jesus. Lord, I thank you for the peace of God that passes all understanding. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. That we are careful for nothing, Father God, mm. but in everything by prayer and supplication. Lord, we come to you in prayer. We come to you in supplication, Father God. Father God, we pray and we thank you for hearing our prayer, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for hiding us, Father God, in your secret place. 
Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we thank you, Father God, that you have allowed us to come to pray to you with a pure heart and a pure mind, Lord, that there is peace in our prayer, Lord. We know you have already done it. We know that is already done. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, it is the peace that passes all understanding. Lord, thank you for giving us peace, hallelujah, as we come to you in prayer and in supplication. We thank you for the peace of God that passes all understanding. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we thank you, Father God. We thank you for the peace of God. We thank you, Father God, for the peace of God that passes all understanding. We get the peace of God that passes all understanding because of the faith in the word, because of our prayer. Hallelujah. Prayer, Father God. Prayer, hallelujah. Hallelujah. To move mountain prayer to uproot everything that is not of God. We call Holy Ghost fire down from heaven to burn it up from the root. We come against every evil altar in the name of Jesus Christ that come against us, that come against our children, that come against our marriage, that come against our bloodline. Holy Ghost, fire right now, fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You told the apostles and the people on the day of Pentecost, don't go nowhere until you be filled with the Holy Ghost and fire, Holy Ghost and power. Hallelujah. We thank you for the power of God. We thank you for the peace of God in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for the peace of God in our home. In our home, Father God. Lord, we pray for our homes, Father God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we come against every devil and every demon that come against our home. We come against every devil and every demon that come against marriages. In the name of Jesus Christ, we come against every devil and every demon that try to bother us at night. Holy Ghost fire come against you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against every spiritual wife. We come against every spiritual husband. We come against every spiritual child in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Power in the name of Jesus. Father God, the peace of God that passes all understanding in our home, Father God, in our minds, in our spirit, in our children, in the name of Jesus Christ, cover our children in the blood of Jesus. Cover our children, Father God, with the peace of God that passes all understanding, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we thank you for the power of your prayer, Father God. We thank you for the peace that you put down on the inside of us. We thank you for the peace that you put down in our children, Lord. We thank you for protection, Father God. Protection, Father God, for the evil that's in this world. Thank you for protecting us, uh, watching over us, uh, covering us uh, in the blood of Jesus. Lord, thank you for putting us in a hiding place uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, we glorify you today and we praise you, Lord. Lord, thank you for increasing our prayer, Lord. Thank you for increasing our faith, Lord. Thank you for the power of God in your word that is activated in our life. Uh, we call down Holy Ghost fire from heaven to burn up everything that is not of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We bind up every wizard, every witch, every warlock in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we call them to repentance, Lord. Hallelujah. Choose ye this day, whether you choose life or death, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we choose life in Christ Jesus. We choose life in Christ Jesus. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We choose life. We choose the peace of God. We choose the love of God. We choose the peace of God that passes all understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for this prayer, Lord. Now we pronounce deliverance right now. For everybody in this prayer, Lord, everybody that's going to hear that prophesy it, deliverance and healing in whatever area that they need it in, Lord. Let miracles go forth, Lord. Let blind eyes be open. Let deaf ears hear, Father God. Let the dumb to talk and the lame to walk. I decree it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen again. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. It's the peace of God that passes all understanding. Glory to your mighty name. It is the peace of God that passes all understanding. It is the power of prayer. Church, man of God, woman of God, saint of God, get back to prayer. Get back to activating your faith in the word of God. Without faith, it don't mean nothing. If faith ain't in your heart, if it ain't in your spirit, the power of God's word is not going to work in your life. It is Christ Jesus. It is the word. John, St. John 1-1, one, one, in the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and my God, help me. It was the word that created heaven and earth. Glory to your mighty name. It was the word that spoke you into existence. Glory to your mighty name. Why don't you believe? Why don't you have faith in Christ Jesus? Hallelujah. That is the only Messiah. Hallelujah. My Messiah died on the cross and got up on the third day. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. My Messiah, when the blood dropped from him, Hallelujah, it redeemed mankind. His blood washed us from all sin. Hallelujah, from all iniquity and transgression and abomination. His blood gave us mercy. His blood gave us strength. His blood gave us power in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. That's the, we're about to quit because we're getting ready for midweek service. But let me ask you something before you go. I want to know, have you ever been saved? If you've been saved, you're in a backslidden position, or if you've never been saved. When you come to God, all you got to do is be sincere with your prayer. All you got to do is say, Lord Jesus, I'm coming to you right now as a sinner. I, I lay my sin down at your feet. Lord, thank you for saving me. I heard that you died on the cross for the whole world. I'm part of this world today, Lord. You died for me. And Lord, I thank you for dying for me. I thank you for giving me another chance. I thank you that you didn't allow me to die in my sins. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. When you get to Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10, it says what? It says, if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart, your confession is I'm saved. Jesus Christ has saved me. He has delivered me. You got to believe in your heart that Jesus died on the cross. They buried him and he rose on the third day with all power in his hand. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. The Lord, I, the Lord, still love you. Hallelujah, I'm going to prophesy to you. I, the Lord, still love you. I have never left you, nor have I forsaken you. I have never left you, nor have I forsaken you. I am the Lord your God. Seek me while you, I may be found in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. I do thank you for joining us again. 
Hallelujah. Again, we ask that you like, subscribe, and share on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. That is the Heart of David International Ministries. Hallelujah. Our website is hodim.org. If you like to email me personally, it's hodim1117 at gmail.com. Hallelujah. I look forward to seeing you in a few minutes. God bless you. Hey!